Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel, the best all-in-one or AIO polish. We have 10 stonkers. We're going to be putting them through hell and back. There can be only one. You know the score. Let's get stuck in. Welcome back to the channel guys, please subscribe. So let's get stuck in all in one polishes. They're there to cut and finish, give you a good polished car, remove defects, give you high gloss and leave components behind. Sometimes fillers that will hide and give you color clarity back or sometimes protection um, materials like uh, SiO2 or waxes or sealants to uh, add protection. So they do a bit of everything. So let's jump straight in with test number one, which is price per litre based on nearest litre offering. I'm going to go from last place, first least amount of marks, one through to first place, 10 marks, okay? So in last place on value is the Angel Wax Enigma, the ceramic infused all-in-one compound. This costs a whopping £64.95 per litre, translated. Um, then in ninth place, costing £63.30 is the Meguiar's 3-in-1 wax, which is there to polish a car and leave behind a protection, a long-lasting protection, according to the product label. Next up, in uh, seventh place, or the third most expensive, is Built Hambra Microfine, which is a wax-based um, ultra-fine paint conditioner. Costs £83.90 per litre when you translate the price. Uh, then we go to the next one, which is Koch Kenny, which costs £50 per litre, okay? So that's our P6 one cut and finish, which actually has a sealant rather than the wax. Uh, next up, picking up five points in sixth place is the, I've got to stop whacking that, is the American brand I haven't used before, 3D Speed. So this is, again, is a true one-step correction product that contains Montan wax, which is like a crystalline version of wax, very glossy. Interesting to see that, because that gives us a little bit different from the normal Carnauba wax. Then, coming up um, in fourth place with the value for money is the Rupes Uno Protect, which as well as being the one-step polish, is a mixture of a polymer sealant and a, and a wax as well, which is supposed to improve the durability. So that's starting to get to a really good value actually, aren't we? £32 per litre. That's fantastic. Next up in fourth place is the Mighty Menzerna One Step 3-in-1. Cut, gloss and wax indeed. 5 out of 10 for cut. We've got a scale here. 9 out of 10 for gloss. So Menzerna have got the pedigree. Is this product going to step up to the plate? Uh, now we get onto the podium of value. In third place, costing £30 per litre translated, is the Ferrecla, the UK brand, uh, G3 Pro All-in-One Polish. Okay, you can pick that up in your Halfords. Uh, in second place, I'm looking for the nine, is the Shoal Concepts Eel, which is their kind of detailer or consumer line. If it begins with S, it's their kind of professional body shop safe line. So this is their all cut and shine um, polish in their E-range. So phenomenal price, £25.65 uh, £25. per litre. Really good. We're almost, you know, two and a half times cheaper than some of the other products in the test. It's very relevant. And picking up the most marks, which I think is a great achievement because Auto Finesse are a kind of brand that are in how foods you don't necessarily associate them with being the cheapest products but the translated price per litre of this is £23.90 and this is so let me introduce it auto finesse triple all-in-one um, you know polish that you see on the channel many many times so fantastic £23.90 per litre really really good so there we go guys that's price let's move on to the next test okay guys so slickness so we cut this back using a heavy compound and wool so it gives us a sort of poor finish if you like we degrease we use all of these products and then we we wipe off the residues and then we leave them overnight for the products to properly cure out which is always a good precaution 
And we'll run through the slick list. We then put down objects onto these strips of different products. We tilt the table and we see which ones slide down first. You've seen it many, many times. Let's just run through the results. There must have been a tie in here somewhere, there was. So the least slickest, the, the one where the, the, the pad held on the longest was the Manzerna. Then second from last place, picking up three points, was the Angel Wax and the 3D Speed, okay? So this was less about how they felt under the microfiber and just more about which has the most lowest friction in, in that test. Sometimes it can be that there's oils and stuff in there that aren't allowing the um, products to work, but who knows? The results are the results. Next up, picking up four points, so this is the bottom order still, was the Shoal. After that, we had the Frecla, then the Koch, then the Auto Finesse, we're getting up to the slicker ones now, and then the Rupes, and then the Maguires, and then the surprise one, because this is a wax-based product, was the Built Hamber. That one, the uh, pads slid down the easiest, and I, I wonder if it's because it's wax and solvent and no oil, so you're getting a less oily product that's low friction, because I wouldn't associate with a wax, typically, as winning these. Normally, SiO2-based protection products win, but we've got all the different chemistry going on with the abrasive in there and the carrier for the abrasive, affecting how the protection products display. So there's our marks on slickness, guys. I hope you can see those. Let's make sure they're in focus, and we'll move on to the next test. Next up guys, each applied product, we get our Gonio photometer and we, we measure the 20 degree gloss to get an idea of which product gives us the best gloss or finish. Note, we're putting them through a set piece of using a soft-ish finishing pad, a flex orange pad, uh, and a four pass set. So we're not using them for, each product might have specific instructions, but if we start using specific pads and do it changing the variables, we lose our ability to compare. So we're just comparing here as opposed to trying to maximize, which is an important point. Some of you, you know, it is an important point, but we, we're short on time. So let's go through which one's got the lowest gloss and picked up the least amount of marks to the ones that got the most gloss and 10 marks. So the one with the least amount of gloss at 81.7 with five readings was the Rupes Uno Protect. Was it that it needed more working and we're reliant, we're seeing more of the protection here, less of the abrasives? Well, could be, I don't know. Um, the Meg's three in one was next with an average of 82, so that's ninth. Then it was the Built Hamber with 83.1. Then it was the Shoal um, Eol, so E all in one, picking up 84.5. Then it was the Auto Finesse Triple with 85.6, so we're getting up now, where there's a significant increase, isn't there? Uh, then six, the Angel Wax with a very similar reading of 85.8, five reading average. Next up was the Menzerna with an impressive 86.5, that's fourth. Then in third place, Freckler with 86.6, very close again, but it's a bit higher. Then in second place was the Koch P6 with a whopping 87.2, the first one to get into the 87s, so that's a really good finish. Then the highest recorded finish was the um, was the 3D Speed with 87.8, and um, I've shot another video on this where I, I took all the gloss readings, noted them all down, and then I just shot a video on my um, phone just to show you me taking a second set of gloss readings as well and comparing them and the averages are consistent so we've got good data here so tune in and subscribe if you want to watch that video as well where you can see all of the readings being taken you know um, that is gloss guys and the, the final thing that I want to say is from just actually using all of these products if you had to ask me which one made the car look electric it was the 3D speed so that Montan wax is giving a really nice crystalline, sharp finish to the car. Uh, it looks fantastic, this product. So that is recorded the best finish, which is an important uh, element of these products. And Koch was close behind it. So there we go, guys. That's the gloss and finish testing. So next up, the cut levels that these product gives. How do you cut, gauge cut? Very difficult, you've got to use loads of products and then you start getting an idea. There's a few markers. I find heat is 
It's not a completely reliable marker, but it's a useful marker. I tend to find the ones that I feel cut the best visually and get through the sandy marks, the other thing we're testing, tend to generate a little bit more heat within the same sort of working parameters, if you like. In other words, if you repeat all the stuff. And the other thing is the amount of transfer you get off the panel and how quickly you just can remove swell marks. You, you, can, you can kind of form an opinion. I'm gonna go through, There's a, there must be a tie in here. Yeah, there is, so that's why we don't have a one point. But I think the least amount of cut in this particular test is the built hammer product. It leans on being more of a protection sort of AOI, and we'll talk about some of those protection qualities and demonstrate them later on. But, and it's also primarily for hand use as well. It doesn't talk about machine use. And it also says there that if the paint is heavily weathered and swelled, you might wanna use a compound on it first, and I agree. Um, so it might be a slightly different vision for what an AOI is there, but definitely I think the lowest cut. Then it's the Auto Finesse, triple. Then it's the Shoal. Then it's the Rupes. We're getting to the kind of mid-order now. Then it's the Menzerna with a, starting to get quite an impressive level of cut. Um, and the Angel Wax and the 3D couldn't really tell the difference. They went through the sandy marks, virtually the 2000 sandy marks on a rotary um, with a coarse cutting pad as well okay so pretty good good abrasive function on both of those products then we get onto the podium eighth place Maguire's very surprised about that I thought it would have had less cut could kind of consumer product might be more fillery and waxy and protectiony whatever but not the cut capability no it cuts really well actually it surprised me second place the Freckler feels very abrasive is pretty abrasive um, and in first place, the Koch, which is the one that actually claims it can remove to P2000. You get that on the rotary, get into it, it really just blasts through the, um, the sandy marks. And I think it probably has the highest cut. There is an issue with if you go too hard on that Koch P6, it can start tacking up a little bit. But you have to go very hard. So you, you have to adjust your kind of set to what you're doing. And I think the reason it, 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 the reason it may tack up a bit is because it's cutting so aggressively at the start. So, um, but that's on the rotary, on the DA, it's pretty much, it's, it's pretty much fine unless you're, you know, you're really going, going at it hard. So that's my order of cut. Next up guys, protection. So the trade-off with all-in-one polishes is typically the protection is a lot less durable than using a pure abrasive, degreasing, and then putting on a proper bonding paint sealant that will do six to 12 months. The AOIs just don't do that. And I, if one did, it would be amazing because I was looking for that in this test and none of them have really done it. Um, I've not done ranking one to 10 because some of them are too close. What I've done is try to score them on how they would compare to an average kind of protection products. And half the field, Minzerna, Shoal, Angel Wax, Auto Finesse, Koch and 3D, the protection elements of it are uh, below average, below your average kind of paint protection product. I think the Rupes has a, is a step up in protection from half the field, it's better, there's something going on there uh, and it demonstrates a little bit of hydrophobicity that, that's harder to remove off the panel. Again, another step up with a Freckla that I gave five points. And then there was only two products that I would say had better than average protection, which are the Meguiar's, I gave a seven, which has a good hydrophobic effect, but it can seem to maintain reasonably well and you notice it on your car, okay? And then there's only one product in this lineup which really gives you a level of protection that's the same as putting on a very decent wax, and that's the Built Hamber product. It just, it's like using their Hydra wax. It just creates rapid, instant repellent, you know, beading and sheeting, and you really notice it. So the Built Hamber product, it's more of a liquid wax with a tiny bit of abrasives in there to like sharpen up your paint and scrub it and clear it up a little bit. But it's very similar to the Hydra, Hydra Wax. So I learned something about that because it's the first time I've used the product. But yeah, so that's where its strength is in the protection. And you can see the difference in, in the products and I'll overlay you the data. Okay. Next up guys, the durability of the protection that's there. Um, we, we measure this by putting detergent on it and then looking at the degradation of water behavior, which is limited, we've spoken about it before. Could we think of other ways of doing it? Yes, but it would make everything take longer and every single category we could do better and we could spend years on this, but we don't. We do a good, good enough job. So I'm just gonna spit it out on the ones I think, you know, least points through to most points and winners. So in last place, Shoal, 
then Menzerna, then Auto Finesse, then Freckler, then Angel Wax, then Koch, then Rupes, then 3D Speed, then Maguire's, and then Built Hamber. That was the one that was just still buzzing after the detergent hits. Um, the rest of them were taking a bit of degradation going. So that's clearly, this is clearly streets ahead if, in terms of a protection product. But is it going to, so it's picked up a big chunk of marks on protection and durability, but it's lost marks on its cut and finish. So is it going to be able to stay? Where's it going to come out at the end? I'm interested. <laughs> We've got um, one more test, then we do the totals and the ranks. So let's crack on. Next up, guys, lid bonus. You're probably thinking, what's he talking about here? When you're using these products all day and you're going over a car and you're set after set and you're using them, having these um, proper abrasive lids makes a hell of a difference. These ones that you can, you can shake it, you can then pop the thing off, put it on the pad and then knock it down on the top of the pad so you don't need two hands. If we look at a lid like this from Ferrecla, um, when you're trying to use it by machine, that lid gets in the way a lot of time. You can't just use the pad to clean off the um, tip of it without catching that bit on it and then that gets full up with polish and things like that so you might think that's really silly but it's actually important to me and some of the the lids are not good if you've got a proper polishing lid like that with a nipple on it you get three point bonus if you don't um with the exception of this one 3d because that has a really cool uh nib as well that you might not be able to see <laughs> try to get it in focus yeah um, it's really cool and it just puts out a nice ribbon of polish. <sighs> I'm giving it the three marks basically, but it's you can't pop it back in. That's the only downside, but it's good enough. Even the um, Auto Finesse one, I'm not giving it the three marks because um, these get caked with polish and then it, it doesn't come up properly. And then when it does pop up, the polish, because it's all gone airtight and stuff, suddenly pops out the lid and then it's, uh, it gets messy. The built handle one, I'm not giving it the three marks because of the screw top. Um, you could turn it upside down and put it over the hole so it's not vaping out all the solvent, or you wouldn't need to. But if you're there all day, you might do. You need to remember to put the lid back on. So I don't, I, I just like the nipple lids. The Maguire's one, the same thing. If you open this up sometimes, especially after you've given it a shake, you just open it up. Let's get in focus. And it just, it comes out sometimes, it goes, Pfft. I'll show you. I've got, it did it to me a few times in filming. Um, so yeah, I don't particularly like that lid either. So the ones that picked up the bonus mark were those, 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 no, 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 yes, no, yes, yes. And all I'll say is there's a reason all of these abrasive specialist companies are using them. So I would use them if I was doing that. Okay, let's go on to the totals and the ranks and we'll do our conclusions. Okay guys, so we're through to the final bit of this. Let's just go through the points. Menzerna 30, Shoal 28, Angel Wax 28, Auto Finesse 31, Built Hamber 38, Ferrecla 39, Koch 41, Maguire 37, Rupes 34 and 3D 39. Check my maths for me. There's a lot of maths doing all this, adding that up. I've made any mistakes. I'm so sorry, but I tried. We're not great with maths. So the ranking guys, the two products that came last with the least amount of points, they must be awful, John. They must be a disaster. Angel Wax and Shoal are in here because they're high quality abrasives, but they just picked up the least amount of marks. I'll try and summarize why this product didn't Give, doesn't yield as much cut as some other ones in the test. It didn't yield as much gloss. The protection elements of it are a little bit hard to notice. I don't like the fact it's got silicon in it. But it's a product which puts a decent shine on your car. Nice and oily to use. Decent enough AOI, but it's got lost in the herd. And uh, it's down at the bottom. That's just the way to put it. Now, the... Um, the Angel Wax is also down at the bottom. Now, this, this is slightly different. The cut and finish on this product were quite high. So I think the abrasive function within it is really good quality. It reminds me a little bit of the Angel Wax Regenerate, which won my single stage 
without the protection products in it, just the cut and finish abrasive. So they can do high quality abrasives. The problem with this is it's ceramic infused. You pay a lot for that ceramic infused, but I can't see the benefits. Um, you know, once completed, additional protection can be added by using Angel Wax Enigma QD, ceramic infused wax, detailing spray or ceramic um, wax, you know, the ceramic Enigma wax. You'd want to put a protection product on top of this because it doesn't demonstrate really good protection. Uh, so it's a game of two halves. For the money, I was hoping that the Enigma AOI was going to blow the others away and leave me a really durable hydrophobic finish. And it was going to be an amazing all-rounder. And it hasn't. It's more of a very good quality abrasive that is just wallet-bustingly expensive for me at that price. That's my opinion, okay? Um, next up, in eighth place, that's a real surprise to me, okay? So again, the Menzerna product didn't pick up that many marks relative to some of the others. I think, again, a bit like the Angel Wax, the abrasive quality is good, the cut is good, the finish is good. It's a little bit oily on the buff. A little bit oily, you've got to pass over it if you watch the individual review I've done on that. That's okay, I'd rather it be oily than like baked on, you know, really hard to buff off. It just requires a little bit more buffing. Um, but I think it's just been outgunned, that's probably it. The protection side of it's very disappointing as well. So again, that's an opportunity to pick up a lot of marks um, that it wasn't able to pick up. So now we go over to the one picking up seven that's not picking up seven. This is rank seventh. Okay, this is a favourite of mine, Auto Finesse Triple. The buff on this is absolutely first class. The best buffage in this particular test. The smell of it is, un, is, is unreal. It smells addictive. Uh, I reach for this a lot when I just want to whiz over my car with a soft pad, put a bit of wax on and clean up the paint. You've heard me say it many times. I will keep this and I'll use it as a few other ones now that I'm going to be keeping and using as well. And I love the stuff. Um, what doesn't it do well? One more thing it does well, it's the cheapest in the test, which is always phenomenal. Uh, the reason it hasn't got more marks, well that's done okay, is the abrasive function isn't quite as good as some of the other products. It doesn't cut as much, I think. You can work it, work some cut out of it, again, like, like the repairs, if you get more aggressive pads on there, but within the test it's lost marks because of that. Next up, guys, coming in sixth place is the Rupes Uno Protect with 34 points. This lost a lot of marks because of that gloss reading. I think, I think it's a slightly milder abrasive that you'll need to use wool on to get the cut going with it, and it will cut like crazy if you get the wool going, I can tell you that much. But that's where it's lost its marks in this particular test, because apart from that, it's pretty slick. It's well priced at £32 per litre. Um, the durability is decent compared to these other AOIs where some of them are very disappointing. So it's a good all-rounder, but it hasn't picked up enough points to win. This one will stay in my collection. It's nice and waxy to use. Uh, it buffs nicely. Yeah, it's just, it's a shame, isn't it, that in the test, sometimes the ones that you like aren't going to pick up the most points. So we've got to crack on. Next is Maguire's. This is an interesting product. The price is a big problem with this. In, it, it, you hear me say that a lot with Maguire's. I love the products, but the price can always be a problem. But the slickness is good. Didn't do that well on gloss. And I don't know if that's because it's too abrasive, um, and other than the Rupes, which wasn't abrasive enough. It could be the opposite of that. So it cuts very well. The protection on it is decent. But yeah, why is it not in the top echelons? Because I think it's a little bit too pricey. Um, and it would have needed to have raised the gloss higher as well. So both these products, of Maguire's and Rupes, because of that, that gloss reading result, just weren't going to get onto the podium. Um, next up, guys, in fourth place, the Built Hamber. This is, I think this has exceeded expectation in this because the abrasive function isn't as good as some of those other products. It's not as good as the um, Rupes or the Maguire's in terms of its ability to cut and finish. But it's done so well because it picked up 10 marks on slickness, which was, none of them feel really slick, but it picked up 10 on protection and 10 on durability because it just outperforms the other product as a, as a protection thing. So if that's your requirement, perhaps if you don't have a machine polisher and you're looking for more, something you can whiz over that with your hands and put really good protection down, 
then the built hammer's a good option. Um, so a good hand polish option, okay? Next up in third place is a tie between 3D Speed and Ferrecla. Let's start with Ferrecla first of all. It's just done everything well. Uh, it's priced fairly at £30 per litre. We'll slip this, okay, it was average there. Gloss it did well, the cut is very good on it. Protection's average within this test, but okay. Durability kind of okay. The lid's not good, but it's consistently performed and it hasn't had a stinker where it's lost all of the marks in that category. So it's a good all-round polish. You can use this pretty well by hand as well. I think the cut is one of the main cool things about this. The one that's come second, never used 3D products before. Really impressed with this stuff. Uh, really impressed with it. The price is good. The cut's good. The finish is spectacular. It's so nice. It does have a slight oily, waxy oily feel to it. Never fully dries, but it buffs off the panel okay. There's not much to say about this. Yes, the protection doesn't demonstrate itself that well, but mm, I, I th this is a very, very good product. Um, and the winner with 41 points. This is a very good quality abrasive um, all in one. The protection side of it, again, is a little bit disappointing, the sealant side, and the price is a bit disappointing. But it's performed so well in, in the gloss in the cutting and the gloss that it's got a big chunk of marks there and because it was only mid-order on pricing it hasn't been massively penalised and it managed just about to hold on but yeah the sealant is a bit disappointing in it but very very high quality and there's your results guys so we have um, these in joint second Freckler and 3D and Koch winning it now very quickly before I end this video and I've got to go and cook some hamburgers I'm going to just give you my opinion on what, what how this should have gone and what my favourite products are. I would put as the winner, personally, the one that blew me away the most was the 3D Speed. Blown away by how that makes the car look. Makes the car look electric. Love it. That would be my favourite, I think. In second place, I think I would put Koch. The price just puts me off of this, but the abrasive quality is there, definitely. Um, then for me in third place, I would probably put Triple or Rupes Uno. Both of these I think are really good. That is my opinion, but you've got the official test results as well, which perhaps just completely kind of calculated, you know, and you've seen why. So let me know your thoughts on this. Are there any products in here that you think should desperately have been in here and weren't. 10 is about all I can cope for, but I always want to hear what you like. That's it from this video, guys. I'm going to go and cook my hamburgers. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got loads more coming. The glass kill is coming soon. It's coming. Goodbye for now. It was I when